to ensure that user interface of the application works correctly and UI behaves expected in different different app configurations. We need UI testing. See what will happen without the proper UI testing. We may not be able to identify and fix the issues user may encounter while using your application. Because see so many users are using your application and have brought so many users are there and this can lead to different problems. For example, frustration could be uh, dissatisfaction with your application and of course this can negatively impact your user experience and user may uninstall your application. And this is where UI testing comes into the picture so that your application can meet the user experience. Now how it can be done, what is UI testing, what are the tools we require for that. So hi everyone, this is Puneet Grover today. We will talk about UI testing, espresso, step by step procedure to implement UI test cases and a few examples and so many things with that. So if you want to learn UI testing with Android either as a beginner or want to improve your testing skills then this video is definitely for you. So let's get started with it. So first thing first, what is UI testing? See UI means user interface. That means UI testing primarily focus on UI functionality. UI means UI components could be buttons, text fields or so many other views user interact with. Now by using the UI functionality developer can easily identify the layout issues, UI bugs and so on. Now our second very important question is what is Espresso? See, to write UI test cases, there could be multiple ways to do that, right? But let's say if we get some library or some testing framework, which could provide us some APIs or some functions, which will help us to write test cases or interact with the UI components, then it will be easy to write UI test cases. And this is where Espresso comes into the picture. Espresso is a testing framework provided by Google to write your UI test cases. This provides set of APIs where we can interact with the UI components and can write test cases in a very easy manner. Now let's go to the screen and see step by step procedure to write the UI test cases using the SPS. Okay, so I have already created one sample project to implement the Espresso. Again, if I talk about the dependencies, we have Espresso dependencies available here. If you can see this one, these are your Espresso dependencies. One is for core, one is for country. If you can see here, these three are the dependencies required for different different kind of work related to UI testing. That means your Espresso. Now, I have already created one activity just to save the time, which has one button, one fab button and one edit test. And one more activity I have created here which also contains a few UI components for example button or you know uh, edit test or something just to simulate how UI testing works here from one activity which I have created main activity to here on click of one button here on click of this button this will launch is the new activity that is your word activity so now let's say I want to create UI test case for this particular piece how can I do that it is very simple and again it is same as what we have done for the unit test cases if you have not uh, watched my unit test cases video then you can go through with that as well I will give the link in the description below now coming here how can we write the test cases just click on generate again test and then see we want to create test case for the UI not for the unit then this is very important that what is our destination package for that for example first of all we have given class name as main activity to append it with test i am not selecting here any of the member i will create my own test cases so i will click on ok here you must have selected the android test not unit test because android test package is the one where ui test cases will be written and unit test cases package is the one where unit test cases will be written now let's select the android test and then click on ok great so we have our test case available if we go to our android test here in the android test we have our android main activity to test let's remove this internal class now a few things we must know before writing the test cases that is where it will run here we have to specify android j unit 4 perfect now see very important things how can we write the ui test cases see one very important thing is we should have emulator or physical device available to write second is we mainly have to launch the activity so that we can 
execute our test cases see how can we do let's say i want to write test case to launch the activity which activity main activity 2 how can we do that again we have to use test annotation here function launch main activity 2 here we have to use activity scenario dot launch and pass on our activity which you want to launch and that's it just run the application firstly we should have our emulator available let's launch our emulator so our emulator is ready let's run this ui test case and see how it looks see the test is succeeded and see your activity launched and disappeared so this is how ui test cases works let's see some other very important examples by which you will get solid understanding on ui test cases now let's write a test case just to see if fab button is displayed or not on main activity firstly we will launch our main activity here very important point is how can we find the view here we have own view and here we have to tell it how do we want to find the view for example we want to find the view with the id r dot id dot fab launch this is our id now check here if it is displayed or not now this is very important to understand on view means we want to find the view with the id who has the id as fab launch and check here if it is getting displayed or not that means if this condition is met or not now if main activity 2 contains the fab button this test case will pass otherwise it will fail so let's run this test and see how it looks it launched it checked this yes we have the fab button and it got passed let's say i pass word activity here which does not have this fab button then it should get failed let's run this test case and see see there is no view in the hierarchy whose id is fab launch so this is how ui test cases are written with the help of espresso now let's say i want to perform some typing in the edit test how can we do that firstly launch the activity could be word activity or main activity then again find the view this is how we can find the view let's say i want to type something here dot perform see dot perform is the function we have to use to do something could be click listener could be type something or could be anything here i want to use type text see we have to type something to get your subscription <laughs> anyways and then let's say close the soft key that's it let's run this test case and see how it looks this launch the activity see it is typing please subscribe to coding with puneet and then just it got disappeared it closed the key so this is how we can write the test cases in android using the espresso and this is the beauty of the espresso we have put so many functions for example type test perform click listeners close keyboard and so many things with the help of espresso is possible so thank you so much guys i hope that you have got good understanding on uh, writing ui test cases using espresso but still if you have any questions you can write down in the comment section if you really like this video then please subscribe this channel coding with pudit and share this video with your colleagues and friends so that they can also learn about the ui test cases let's see you in the next video take care bye bye